Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Indiscipline Mind podcast for Saturday, January 30th, 2016. As I was editing my podcast last night, I realized I said 15 again. Oops. Uh, Sierra is still missing this morning. Uh, So it is a Saturday morning. We got a little sun action going on. We got, I don't know if you want to call it mostly cloudy, partly cloudy, but we get a little blue peeking through here and there. It's actually supposed to be kind of warm. We're supposed to be, I think, in the mid 40s. We got kind of a warm snap coming for the next three or four days. And then we drop back to frigid. So what little snow is clinging to life, I expect is probably going to be pretty much gone. Pretty much all there's left is the stuff that's like piled up from people shoveling. And even those piles aren't very, very big, so. Thus far, I would knock on wood, but I don't think there's any wood in the, uh, in the car here. Thus far, we got a mild mild winter as far as snowfall. I mean, but there's a lot of winter yet to go. We got Puxatani Phil seeing his shadow on Monday, I think. Which means I need to watch Groundhog Day. I actually have it on DVD, so I don't have to put up with the network TV slice and dice version. Uh, What else is going on today? I don't know. I'm out running errands. I gotta hit the bank. Oh my god, there we go. I forgot how to work my windshield wipers. Pain getting old, you know? You forget how to use things that you use all the time. What am I thinking about today? I don't know. I'm feeling. I did not stay up. A lot of times on Friday nights, I'll stay up and watch a movie and drink beer. And, and my sleep patterns have just been pretty bad this week. I've been kind of tired all week. And then Thursday night, for some reason, I did my. I slept for about 20 minutes, and then something woke me up. I do not know what. It might have been like my CPAP mask knee adjustment or something. I don't know. Something woke me up, and I just could not get to sleep. And I tried crawling in the bed at one point after being up for about an hour, and, you know, that didn't work. So I ended up crawling in the bed about 2 which really sucks when your alarm goes off at 4.45. Yeah. So last time I did not stay up. And I slept. And I slept well. And I needed that. I probably need about five more nights of that. But I don't, I don't you know, if, if, if the sleeping is going well, I don't mind doing a little... You know, self-inflicted sleep deprivation to 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 sit and do do a little movie and beer thing. But when I've been dragging butt all week, it just seemed like the prudent thing to do is just to crawl in the bed with the wife and go to Snoozeville. You know, I'm reading a book right now. I don't know that I'm liking it. I don't recall the story, the title, but it's, I don't know. There's something about it that I'm not totally enjoying, but it's not down to the point where I want to stop. However, it's kind of big. So, I don't know. It's, it's... It's an epic fantasy. It kind of reminds me of... Oh, gosh. What was that? 
Shadow Dancer, maybe? An old, uh, an old Potty Books title by John McClanahan, I think. I don't remember. But basically, you got this, this, you know, teenager, almost 18, or maybe just 18, who's living in this world, and his grandfather dies, and he finds out that he has, he's, that he, the grandfather and the mother came from another land, as in, you know, some other, an otherworldly place, not that they came from Latvia or something. Um, And there are evil forces, and as the heir to this guy, you know, it's it's up to his job to fight the evil forces, and of course evil forces are on a killing spree. They've not only killed, well, I don't know that they've killed the grandfather. I think the grandfather might have just died from old age. It hasn't really been said. Although it was kind of unexpected, uh, but the the parents just got killed. I don't know. It seemed like we dived into it awfully fast. You know, granted, you don't want to spend a ton of time setting things up, but I, I think this guy probably went the other direction, and he. And he you know, kind of dived into it a little bit too fast. It just seemed a little abrupt to me. So, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a predictable plot. It's kind of the typical, you know, young man just learns he has powers and has to fight a great evil. And this evil, of course, is kind of in between the two worlds. So in this nether space, he's going to have to go fight him, so... It hasn't... It's been keeping it just interesting enough to string me along. And I'm thinking about what I'm going to read next. You know, there's a part of me that's... I've been thinking and mulling over the thought of rereading Harry Potter. And... Also, I've been having a little bit of a hankering to reread uh, Nathan Lowell's... Uh, Ishmael Wong books. I do feel like I just read them because An Ash is Born, I think, came out in October. And I read them all around then. The one thing I I have been thinking about is, you know, I've been reading... Lots of indie authors, predominantly. I've been reading Brandon Sanderson. And actually, I do... He's got, um, in his second series for Mistborn, he's got two books out that I haven't read yet. I read the first book in the second series and enjoyed that a lot. And um, second book's been out. Third book just got out. And I think there's supposed to be one more book in that series. So I'm, I'm, I need to see if the library has got those. I'm not buying the ebook. The ebook is 15 bucks, which is just highway robbery. So, no. Uh, I, I, I choose to not validate their crappy privacy model by actually breaking down and buying it, even though I probably would prefer to read it on ebook. It's not as necessary. Now that I've got the LASIK done, reading a paper book isn't quite the pain in the ass it was when I was dealing with readers and all that stuff. So, I don't mind that as much. The other thing I thought a process I had was to start reading the Hugo Award winners and some of the more of some of the bigger names in the sci-fi industry. Since I do consider myself a sci-fi writer, although I haven't written sci-fi in a little while, I'm, probably my next book has got to be sci-fi because I need to get back into that area. You know, so I've re- I've read a bit of I've read a bit of Neil Gaiman. I've read a bit of China Mieville. Uh, there's probably other people that I have not read. So I'm kind of thinking about grabbing a list of like the last couple years Hugo winners and maybe maybe go into the dive into the nominees or something. Read 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 most of the nominees or something like that and, and read those books and kind of uh, 
start steeping myself a little bit in in what the the you know the people that are doing outstanding work according to the industry you know read, read what their stuff is like and kind of uh, let that infuse itself in me that's been my thought process so but uh, yeah I guess I'll let that be that for today I will be back on Monday and I will be talking to you then so be seeing you